All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, when doing a problem like this, when we need to go ahead and solve for x, um, what we're going to have to go ahead and look into this problem is one thing, a couple things we want to make sure that we have is first being able to determine what is going to be the sum of all these angles. Because we need to find the measure of x. And we notice that this is not a regular polygon, right? This is not a regular polygon. Not all the sides or the angles are exactly the same in measurement. So what I need to do is I need to be able to determine, well, what, do, what if I added all those angles, what would it equal? Now, some of you might already know, well, I've been doing a lot of problems with quadrilaterals, Mr. McLogan, so I know it's equal to 360. But let's just go back and again and remember the sum for a polygon of all the interior angles is n minus 2 times 180, where n represents the number of sides. So you look up here, we have a quadrilateral. So therefore, you do s equals 4 minus 2 times 180 degrees. s equals 2 times 180 degrees. s equals 360. So again, what does that mean? That means the sum of all the interior angles for a quadrilateral adds up to 360. Well, again, then we need to remind ourselves, what does sum represent? The sum is the addition of multiple terms. So what we're doing is we need to add up. It's the sum of all the angles. That means if I add 2x minus 15 plus 2x minus 15 plus x plus x, the addition of all of those angles is going to equal 360. OK? So well, remember, and that's why we have to do this formula to make sure we know what the sum of all of them are. Okay, So don't just try to always assume. You can always go back to the formula to make sure you can check in to make sure you have the right correct sum. Because it's going to be different how many sides. right? A triangle has, three, has 180. A quadrilateral has 360. right? And then a pentagon has 540. Hexagon has um, 720. You know, it just keeps on going over and over. Yes? So we have 360 Yes, you have to make sure that you understand the quadrilateral, all the angles of the sum equal to 360. Now, the next thing we do is we need to solve the equation. But ladies and gentlemen, we have multiple terms of x, right? So we need to combine our terms that are what we call like terms. And you see here, these all have a singular x. So they all have a common factor of x. So we can combine them. So positive 2x plus 2x plus x plus x is going to be 6x. Negative 15 plus a negative 15 is negative 30 equals 360. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll add 30. And I have 6x equals 390. Yes, AJ, is there a question? Oh, OK. <clears throat> so then we have 6x equals 390. And Blake, what would be my last step here? Divide 390 by 6. So therefore, x equals, well, we know 6 divides into 360 60 times, right? And then there's 30 more to get to 90, which would be 5 times, so it's 65. Very good. So x equals 65. Now, one problem I didn't ask, right? But ladies and gentlemen, what if I said, a, B, C, D. This was kind of uh, this was similar to a question that we had on your uh, pre on your uh, review. If I said, all right, x equals 65. What if I said, find the measure of A and find the measure of angle B. So what if I ask you? I actually want you to find the measure of each one of those individual angles. Yes. Yeah, so A, what you'd have to do, since A, the measure of angle A is equal to 2x minus 15. But do we now know the measure of x, the value of x? Yes, right? So it's 2 times 65 minus 15, right? And measure of angle B, well, the measure of angle B is just x. Well, that just equals 65. That one's easy. So then we do 2 times 165, which is 130, right? 130 minus 15 would be 115. So therefore, the measure of angle A is 115 degrees, and the measure of angle B is just 65 degrees. All right? Very, very good. <clears throat>